Okay, anyway. Now, last time I gave Bob a brain that allowed him to like hell divers, okay? Unfortunately, since he got into the accident at the bar where somebody punched him in the face for saying he's not a fan of Minecraft, I realize there's a few flaws in this brain that I've put in. Okay, but this time, I think I found a brain that is just right for him, okay? No strings attached to this brain whatsoever. This brain likes Helldivers. It likes Minecraft. And I think it's a fan of Halo. So, we can't lose, right? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Now, I like the idea of being this. We don't need that camera angle this time, I guess. But it does allow me to just ask you the question, Bob. Do you know the Muffin Man? Anyway, we'll just chip into this skull just here. Because it turns out that the brain that I gave you, Bob, although it liked Helldivers, and it liked Helldivers a lot, it only likes Helldivers, Bob. And drinking, by all accounts, considering you, you know, drank yourself into a coma. But there are more things than that, Bob. You know, there are more things to life than just liking Helldivers. You know, like Minecraft. Minecraft, you can't hate Minecraft now, can you, Bob? Right? That's what I thought. Right up until I met you, Bob. And you showed me how to hate Minecraft. And you also showed me how to get your teeth kicked in for hating Minecraft. Okay, so, to prevent that from happening again to you, because, don't get me wrong, it will happen again to you if you continue to spout nonsense like hating Minecraft. Okay, I have in fact determined that the best course of action for you is in fact to take this current brain out and I found a new candidate. Now this candidate that I got the brain from is perfect for you Bob, okay? The guy liked skiing and playing video games a lot, okay? He had like four video games that he loved to play, okay? One of them was Minecraft, the other one was Helldivers. I think he liked Among Us as well, but we, we, can, we can work out the kinks I think, you know? Everyone liked among us for a little bit, you know? I don't think he's gonna like it forever. I don't think he liked it all the time, you know? Like, what, what, he kind of liked it socially, like most people did, you know? Can't be that much of a super fan, can you, eh? But trust me, Bob. Maybe you shouldn't have trusted me, Bob. I accidentally killed the man and I didn't press restart. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Bob! Bob, you weren't listening to me, damn it! I had to get you new blood and everything! Why'd you pass out for? <laughs> okay, this time... Just slow movements. Slow movements into the brain cavity area. You see, we are in an ambulance, Bob. You know that, right? And therefore, what I'm telling you right now has to stay in the ambulance. It's a, it's, a, it's a rule of being in an ambulance, Bob, you know? What happens in the ambulance stays in the ambulance. Oh, I may have accidentally cut you there, Bob. Give me a second. Oh, wrong one. Boop! That's fine. Okay, so... Somehow I have, in fact, cut a bit of skull over this side. I'll be honest, Bob, I don't exactly know what I'm doing with skulls. Okay. I said I found you a new one. I don't know if it's going to work, per se. But I believe in it. And I hope you do too. Okay. Because if you don't believe in it, Bob, bad things could happen to me, you see. I could lose my license to... Be able to, you know, ride in the back of an ambulance. Because realistically, half of my job, Bob, is never actually doing this, you know? Most of my job is dealing with drunk people and getting abused for my, the work that I do. 
like a normal ambulance driver. Which, by the way, is totally wrong and nobody should abuse ambulance drivers. Or staff, for that matter of fact, in general. But it happens, Bob, you see? And I know that it happens, so I have to just... Just get on with it. But don't get me wrong, I much preferred my surgeon zone. You know, we had like a club of surgeons together. And, well, since you complained because of the teeth, of all things the teeth, like I gave you a new brain involuntarily. To be fair, that should have been the warning sign, Bob, I'll be honest. But I thought, hey, he probably doesn't know what he's done. It's probably just a big old joke to him, right? Now, the chair is there again, so I'm going to have to... Oh, crap. Uh, the plan was that I pushed the chair, but the chair has not been pushed, in fact, so... Um, brain, stay there for a second, will you? How's the blood doing? I'll be honest, Bob, your, your brain's behaving a little erratically for me right now. Okay, so there goes the Helldiver's brain, okay? It was worth something, you know, but not like this brain. This brain? Can you believe it? This guy, the guy that had this brain, right, is the same guy that punched you, okay, for not liking Minecraft. Now... I found him, okay, and because he'd done your teeth in and ruined my career, I thought that this would make it up to you, and you would love this, you know? Look, because surely the guy couldn't have been a bad person. He doesn't act irrationally. Anyway, 